any pattern of narcissus that arises is simply a movement that is apart from understanding. The patterns that persist are simply forms whereof there has been no inquiry. Where there is understanding, narcissus does not arise. Where there is continuous inquiry, his dramas do not persist. When narcissus is dead, understanding and inquiry have simply become perpetual and perfect. In reality, there is no relaxation or absence of understanding and inquiry. Therefore, understanding and inquiry are the eternal arms of man. When these are forgotten or relaxed, Narcissus appears. Then there is only opposition and retreat, only the idol of terror, loss, seeking, regret and separation. But where there is understanding and inquiry, there is no opposition, no retreat, no separation, no fear, no loss, no seeking and no regret. There is only enjoyment, which is the utter form of the world. There is only enjoyment, even the enjoyment of the whole world. There is only enjoyment, even in the form of the world. There is intelligence and conscience and conscious presence. 